too black, even. Point five, coming out. Come on, point. We got it. Five, winner. Yeah, win again, boss. My lucky night. Hey! Leave the broad alone and get back to the door. Dummy. Yes, Mr. Moreno. Come here. What these dummies gonna learn that we can't take any chances? Fix ain't as easy with the cop as you're like in Detroit. Yeah, you're right, boss. It's your old boss. Coming out. Five there. Okay, come on.
phone. Yeah. Mr. DeSantis, we've been hit. Gus is dead. Calm down. Calm down. Now tell me what's happened. this personally. In the meantime, you take care of things there. Okay, Mr. DeSantis. You can depend on me. Didn't I, Charlie? I didn't mean that, Sal. I, I, I bet I can't give you a report and, until all my boys come back and bring me the details. Whoever's responsible for this is going to pay, Sal. Okay. I'm glad you feel that way. I'm going to send you my man, Carmine. I want you to give him all the cooperation he needs, Here, yeah? Sure, everything at my disposal. By the way, Charlie... I want him in complete charge of this operation until this whole thing is straightened out. Do you understand me? Oh, of course, Sal. Anything. Guys, I got Gus. All right. Have a limousine pick him up tomorrow morning at the airport. Will do, will do. Sal, I want you to know that I'm... I'm really sorry about Gus. Yeah, yeah. your mission? Yes, sir. Well done. You may now remove your disguises and clean up. Sergeant? Yes, sir. I want a report made up on this as soon as possible. And you better notify the FBI, since we have uh, machine guns involved. Yes, sir. Shall I book the rest of these characters? What do you think? Okay, you guys, let's get them booked and get them downtown. Let's go. Come on. Keep your hands off. Come on, let's go.
Do the minute break. Okay, Lieutenant. Okay, you guys, lie to me if you got him. Gentlemen, I know you have all heard this before, but I'm repeating it to let you know how important our operation is to us. In the 18 months I spent in the hospital, I had time to conceive the idea of your disguise as... After all, those guys are going to be looking for black guys, and here we are white as ivory snow. <laughs> Let's be serious for a moment now. We have a lot of work to do in the next five days. Part one has been achieved. Again, I would like to give you all a well done. In order for us to complete the remainder of this operation, we must keep up the element of surprise. We are not dealing with green kids. These guys are expert killers. But if we can complete these three other jobs that I have in mind, we will be set for life. We'll have more than a monthly pension or a purple heart to show for our sweat. The cops are not going to be too keen on helping the mob find us. After all, we're doing them a favor. Sir, the men have asked me to say a few words for them. We feel that we owe our lives to you, so whatever danger that we may encounter will be no sweat. Yeah, right on, right on. Thank you, men. I knew I could count on you.
little boys to bring that stuff in. Okay, brother. Oh, John. Uh, get that crate unloaded right away, huh? Sample of stuff. It's really dynamite. It had better be good. Hey, when have I ever given you bad stuff? job themselves. You know, I never did like this town. It's too hard to get to the cops. So I want you guys to be careful, huh? You're right, Bruno. This is top grade stuff. I tell you, I deal with nothing but the best. John, go out and clean up that mess and store the typewriters. to get there. We'll be there in just a few minutes, sir.
up in here again. Well, I think we should go inside and talk about it. Yes, yes, you're right. It's all right. He's on the payroll. Yeah, we still a lousy copper. It comes to a little better than a quarter of a million dollars, gentlemen. With the two remaining jobs that I have in mind, we're going to hurt them bad, but we will have it good. Ernie, take this stuff and flush it down the toilet. But, Lieutenant, the street value of this stuff is worth over a million bucks. Why should we let it go to waste like that? I would rather see it wasted like this than wasting people's lives. At least this stuff won't end up in some kid's arm. I would like to tell all of you gentlemen again, we're not in this to hurt society, but to help rid society of some of its scum. But then, of course, we reap the rewards. <laughs> I really don't know what to do, Carmine. These black guys are like uh, phantoms. They hit so fast, uh, and they seem to know all our setups. Obviously, there's a leak from the inside. Wait a minute, Mr. Longo. I've been with Charlie DeSantis and the organization since I was a recruit. I put my neck on the line for these guys. You may be doing a lot more than that if we don't find them soon, Copper. Uh, wait a minute, Carmine. I run things out here. And I say he's all right. He's like a son to me. Let me tell you something. You run nothing. Now, as long as I'm here, I'm in charge of this operation. You have any arguments about that? Call Salvatore. Fight them all ourselves, Carmine. I don't know. I'll help you every way I can. That's more like it. Now, suppose you tell me about uh, where you think the leak is in the organization. Well, gentlemen, if I may interrupt, uh, I can suggest that it might be Charlie's man in East L.A. <laughs> Could have a point there. Knows our whole operation. The only black man we got in the organization. He's shrewd, he's got guts. And maybe he's getting a little greedy. I got news the other day that he's recruiting an army of his own down there. Maybe we should talk to this guy. Maybe. All right. Me and my boys are going to have a little chat with him. Well, maybe you better take six or seven of my guys in case you have any trouble with them. No. No, I don't think so. If this guy's as tough as you say and the neighborhood's as bad as he is, a hundred men won't do any good. Now, just, uh, just give me a driver. Somebody who knows the area. Well, what'd you say this guy's name was? Earl. Earl Lovington. Earl Lovington. Tough guy. Charlie, get on the phone. Give Earl a call. Tell him I'm coming in to talk to him. you've been with the outfit for some time now. Charlie tells me you've been doing a hell of a job for him down here. Now I'd like to ask you to do something for me. Fire away, baby. Well, I guess you know we've been hit twice now by some black guys. We feel they may be coming out of your area. What are you trying to say, man? Well, nobody's pointing a finger at you. But uh, these guys obviously know the setups, so there must be a leak. Now you listen to me and you listen good. You brought your ass down here because some blacks ripped off some of Charlie's goodies. And because they're black, 
you come down here to me. Well, you go back and you tell Charlie that none of my people are involved. And I could care less whether or not he gets ripped off. You tell Charlie he ain't talking to no watermelon man and that I don't need him or any of his people. And if I decided to rip him off, he wouldn't be able to send any goons like you around. Now, you wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. I know you're supposed to be the big bad man from Detroit, but none of that badness works down here. I got a whole army behind me, punk. Now, you go tell Charlie that I wish I could find those blacks that ripped him off. I could use some men like that in my operation. And you tell Charlie if he comes in my neighborhood again, he's going to have to pay Jews. Now, you got that or you got something to say? You've said it all, Mr. Lovington. And I'll relay your message to Mr. DeSantis. Look, Dan, you know I work undercover. My source of information comes from street people. These guys trust me even though they know I'm a cop. They give me information, I give them a break every now and then. That's bullshit. You haven't made a bust in six months. Now, either you straighten out or I'll put you back in a black and white. Yes, sir. Look, I don't mean to ride you, John. But we got a hell of a mess on our hands in this district. I mean, the commissioner's up in arms about this gang war. Now, I want you to put every available man you got on finding these guys. You got my word, Dan. I'll find him. Who oh, the hell does he think he is? I put him in that spot. I made him what he is. He was some punk numbers runner a couple of years ago. And now he tells me he's going to take over? And you, you come on. You let him say all these things. What did you want me to do, Charlie? Smack his hands? You don't talk to me this way. I don't care who you are. I'll talk, Charlie. I'll talk and you'll listen. Now, I swallowed enough shit for one day from that chitlin' mouth maker, and I don't want to hear anything more out of you. Do you understand? Now, I'm going to show you how we're going to handle this whole situation. So why don't we both calm down? We'll have a nice little dinner, and then I'm going to tell you what I want done. Give the year from the fifth to win. I'm glad this is the last pickup. I want to get back to bed. Get out of here. guys he told us to look out for? Yeah. Well, I just heard they made a big hit on Ronnie's liquor store. So they hit one of Charlie's runs again, huh? Well, I think we can expect a little trouble from Charlie's people. 
Break out the big guns and let's get ready for a big bang. Dan, I've checked out every possible source of information. I, I keep running into a blank wall. These guys have got to be from out of town. They leave no loose ends for me to follow up on. Once you put some men on Charlie DeSantis' operation, maybe we can turn up something that way. You know what really bugs me? Is having to give that bastard protection. I'll get on it right away. Oh, wait a minute, John. Intelligence sent over some reports and pictures. Seems as though Charlie DeSantis has imported some gunsels from Detroit. And I want to surveillance on these guys around the clock. The first guy is Joe Groupie, known killer and muscle. Second one is Thomas Foreman, he is also a loser. And last but not least, we have Carmine Longo. Number one boy, worked his way right up from the streets to earn the respect of the entire organization. I want you to sleep with this guy. Uh-huh. Everything will be under control, Sal. Look, Carmine, I'm depending on you to find those guys for me. Uh, just a minute. Yeah. I don't care how long it takes or how much money it costs. I want the guys that killed Gus, you hear? I'm glad Charlie's cooperating with you. He's a good man in the old days. Give him my regards, huh? Bon opportun. I'll get those bashes for you, Gus. Sal wants these guys bad. Real bad. Tell you what I want done. You spread the word to your boys. Tell them there's a hundred grand in it for the guy who locates them. And tell them that... Yeah. Yeah, he's here. Just a minute. It's for you, Mr. DeSantis. It's that cop. Yeah, what is it? Charlie, I've been trying to reach you for ten minutes. Your line's been busy. So what? Tell me what you got on your mind. You've been hit again. They knocked over your whole bookie operation. What? You've been hit again, the bookmaker operation. Get your ass down here right now, copper. We've got some talking to do. I can't do that, Mr. Longo. I got a lot of heat on me. Lieutenant's been riding my ass. As a matter of fact, he may have a surveillance on me right now. You're gonna have a lot more heat on you if you don't get down here. You're a cop, Stangin. Lose the tail. As soon as that copper gets here, I'm going to tell you how we're going to handle this whole situation. You call Lovington right now and reassure him you're not going to interfere with his operation. You want me to talk to that spook? Well, I won't do it. I'm not going to kiss his ass. Charlie, Charlie, I don't want you to kiss his ass. All, All I want you to do is tell him that you don't want any problems between you and him. You just want to locate the guys that are ripping you off. Charlie, Charlie, tell him you're offering him a hundred grand if you can locate the guys. All right, baby. But I really ain't got no beef with you, Charlie. I just didn't like that punk coming down to my face. And besides, a hundred grand sure sounds nice. I'll put my people on it right away. Old Charlie's running scared. He's up to something. I think we can expect some big trouble from him. Sure wish we could find those guys, though. A hundred grand's a nice chunk of cash. But I think it might be a big shuck. All of our people ready? All ready. Fix me a drink. Hey, you want to shine? I really give a good shine. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the look on that guy's face when I tossed him that grenade. <laughs> Will you please sit down here? Relax. No, no. Charlie, I have done all I could to locate those guys. All I got out of it was a lot of heat from the lieutenant. Stagan, I've Charlie told you to sit down. Don't worry. 
I've got a plan that's going to take all the heat off. Yeah, we're going to knock off Lovington. I'll have a hundred men here by this afternoon, Carmine. No, Charlie. We don't do it that way. We don't want any gang wars. Oh, Jesus, Charlie, no more shooting. You're going to have the whole police force down on me. Wrong. Going to bring the whole police force down on Lovington. Like I was saying, Charlie, we don't want any gang wars. So we're going to let the coppers take care of Lovington. Right, copper? What do you mean? Well, we're going to set him up. We're going to make a hero out of you. <sighs> How are we going to do that, Carmine? All right, now listen, copper. John. I want you to find me a pigeon to set Lovington up in a heroin buy. And you tell this pigeon that there's 25 grand in it for him if he gets through to Lovington with a setup. John. John, there's an extra 75 grand in it for you when you and your little boys in blue bust in on a buy and kill him. How do I just shoot Lovington? Well, I'm sure he's not going to want to take a bust. He'll give you a little resistance. John. You owe me this. Well, you gotta do it. I think it's a great idea, Garvin. Why don't we use one of our own men for the heroin setup? No, Charlie, it has to be a spook. A very dispensable spook. And because we have to protect our little blue man here from leaks, the pigeon's gotta get it in a raid, too. Hey, I, I got just the guy. A little pusher down on 11th Street. I let him work for bits and pieces of information he gives me from time to time. I'm sure he'll do it. All right. You get on it right away. Call me here when you get the thing set up. And, uh, John, don't bother coming back here until this whole thing blows over. Now, Charlie, you see to it that John here gets a necessary cash and heroin to give this guy. Mm. Yeah, I have all the stuff here this afternoon. Uh, my man Lou will deliver it. You call me at 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll give me time to have my man ready to contact Lovington. I'll get on it right away. Uh, John. John, you know, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad you're with the outfit. Uh, thanks, Mr. Longo. Man. It is now 1600. We'll be ready to hit on 1400 Saturday. I want you all to get plenty of rest between now and then. One other thing, gentlemen, I will be with you on this last mission, but because of my physical handicaps, I will only be able to give you cover for your retreat. All right, now, Charlie. Listen to me. That little black man that's setting up Ludington is dispensable. But we also have another dispensable item. Our friend, John. Kill a cop? Jesus Christ, Carmine, I don't know what... I don't understand why. Because we're trying to prevent a gang war. And the only two tie-ins we have are the Pigeon and our friend, John. Now, you heard what the copper said, he had heat. And if enough pressure is put on him, he's going to spill his guts. How are we going to do it? Trust me, it'll be taken care of. Yeah. Look, Jack. I told you you don't have anything to worry about. And there's 25 grand in it for you besides. Man, look, sitting up Lovington, that's something else, man. I... You don't have anything to worry about. Once we pull the bust, you're going to manage to get away. You'll just disappear. His men will think you're trying to get away from the cops. And besides, once Lovington's dead, his whole organization's going to fall apart. I told you, Jack. You don't have anything to worry about. Man, what are you trying to do to me, man? I don't like it. Well, Jack, you're going to have to like it. Either you do as I say, or we're going to put you away for a long time. Jack, look. 
I'm just trying to give you a way to make a big score so you can get out of this town for good. Man, look, the dude ain't no fool, man. Twenty-five grand. <clears throat> Cash. Okay, I'll do it, but I want all the money up front. Okay, it's a deal. My man's gonna meet me here in just a little while with the cash and the heroin. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to call Lovington in the morning. I want you to tell him you got $250,000 worth of heroin. Too big a deal for you to handle. That's my man now, just a minute. Here's the stuff. Heroin? Cash. I'll see you in the morning. And one more thing, Jack. We're dealing with some big people. Don't cross me. I get hurt, you get hurt. Well, man, look, don't talk to wait, man. I said we had a deal, didn't I? You know what you can do with that whistle? All right, let's go, you guys. Up. We got a lot of work to do. I want you guys to check your weapons. I want you to break them down, make sure you got plenty of ammo. Lieutenant will be with us in a few minutes. Then we're going to spend the rest of the morning going over details of the heist. Okay, you guys, let's go. Up. Oh, come on, Willie. Give us a break. It's Jack Wallace. He says he has something for you. What is it, Jackie? Uh, Mr. Lovington, I got something I think you'd be interested in. It's too big for me, and I'd like to bring over a taste, and maybe we can make a deal. How much money are we talking about? A quarter of a million worth. They want 50,000. Yeah? Well, bring me a taste, baby, and we'll talk. When Jack Wallace gets here, bring him right in. It's a go. Okay, you take off. I'll be right behind you. Gotta get in two hours ahead of us. After you take out the exterior guards, the rest will be behind you. Yes, sir. Okay, Buddha, you, Pete, and Bob, break out the ropes. We're gonna have ourselves a little rehearsal. Charlie. Hey, Charlie, relax, will you? Calm down. It'll all be over in a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, I know. But that don't keep me from worrying. Hey, you're worried about that cop, ain't you? Yeah, I guess I am. I just don't like the whole deal. We can't afford any loose ends. He has to go. Now, relax. Trust me, huh? Stop worrying. I'm sorry, Karma, you're right. Just don't want any problem with the police. This is D-14, D-14. Officer needs assistance. Officer needs assistance. 1755 Highland. 1755 Highland. Hi, Jack. Come on in. Mr. Levinson is waiting for you. Hello, Mr. Wallace. What's happening? Yeah. You did the right.
right thing by bringing this, Jack. We're going to make a lot of money. Yeah, I knew you'd like it. Gotcha, baby. You sold me out, baby. Drop your gun, Lovington. What gun? This one. Sergeant Stangen has been killed. What? Where? Making a heroin bust on the east side. Took out four guys, including a guy named uh, Lovington. Works for Charlie DeSantis. On the way out of the building, somebody on the rooftop sniped him. Probably one of Lovington's men. Make up a report for the old man. I told him it was a lousy cop. I pushed him. Okay, you guys, up and out of them. I want you guys to break your weapons down again and check your ammo, okay? Hey, Willie, don't you think we've had enough? Now, you listen, Goldberg. We're gonna run through it again and again till we get it down pat. You understand? Huh? Okay, don't get sore. Okay. Let's get started. Everything go okay? Like shooting fish in a barrel. Told you my boys would take care of it, didn't I? You were right. They did good. It's a nice job, boys. Go relax. Carbide. I owe you an apology. Stupid. 
stupid of me to worry about that cop. I had to be done this way. You were right. All those ends. Forget the apologies. We still got a job to do. Our problems may not be over yet. Uh, you mean those guys that have been hitting us? That's right. If they aren't Lovington's men, we can expect some more trouble from them. Now, what time do your shipments arrive tomorrow? Well, the boys are usually prompt. They, they all get here about 10 o'clock. You really don't think they're going to try and hit it? I don't know. But if they do, we'll be ready for them. Well, what do you think, Willie? Are they ready? Yes, sir. All right, get them together. I would like to say something. Okay, you guys, listen up. You all know the plan. If we have to leave someone behind, we must. If we get separated, we meet back here. I also would like to say I think you're a great bunch of guys. You help me out of this mess and I'm gonna give you a big chunk of dough. Charlie, Salvatore takes pretty good care of me. Now all I want to do is get out of here and get back to Detroit. Did you get me the extra men for tomorrow? Sure. I got ten extra men, and they're pretty good. Good. Charlie, you got a hell of an operation. <laughs> well, it's been good to me. And everybody. and we ship it out on a Learjet? Hmm. Uh, there's no way anybody can hit this shipment. It's I'm the only one who knows what day it's going to go out. judgment knocking off Lovington. This shipment's going to make it.
families. They got suckered. We all got suckered. I'll make a phone call and get some boys over here to give us a hand. What do you want to do with this guy? I'll take care of him. I don't believe it. Stangen working for the mob? Look, and I'm sorry to have to tell you this. I know how close you two were. But Charlie DeSantis had him all wrapped up. As a matter of fact, we believe that that heroin bust was a big setup. We also believe that Stangen was not killed by the Lovington mob, but by Charlie's people. Do you have enough evidence to pick him up? No, but we're working on it. Well, you let me know when you do, because that's one bust I want to be in on myself. Okay, black boy, who are you working for? Go to hell. It's a white guy. All right. A lousy white guy. Now look, pal. I don't know who you are, but you're in big trouble. And you better talk to me because I'm going to make a turkey out of you. about Willie. We waited out. I hope I said four be here soon. In the meantime, we gotta get this guy to talk. I want my goddamn money back. He's gonna talk. Don't you worry about that. I sure hope he made it out. If he's alive and he got caught, there's a possibility he'll talk. If he does, we better be prepared. If he's dead, there's no better place for us to be until we get out of here tonight. You could have made it a lot easier on yourself if you'd have spoken earlier. All right. Now let's hear it. It's on 19th Avenue. Where? On 19th Avenue. An old warehouse. And who's your boss? His name is Johnson. We served together in Vietnam. All right, Charlie. As soon as your men get here, we're going to take this punk for a ride. But just as Casey's lying, I want him to show us where the place is. And you get on the phone and get some more men over here. Where did you say that place was? On, on Figaro on 19th Avenue. What are you waiting for, Charlie? Get on it. All right, let's get all the money together and start splitting it. Ernie, get the airline bags. Buddha, get the money. We've been waiting two hours and Willie hasn't shown. I must assume he's either dead or they're sweating him. 
In the event that I am wrong, I'm leaving the choice up to all of you as to whether we stay. I say we wait. Hey, I feel the same way. I'm all for it. As soon as we get this money split, we'll take our positions.
I guess that washes up Charlie DeSantis. Take him in. I'll be with you in San Francisco in about a week. Take care of yourselves. Lieutenant, you take care. I'll see you later. to make it. Come on, don't be talking like that, man. Uh, You're going to have to take over. I want you to go ahead with our plans. Those guys aren't going to follow me. Uh, You'll find a way. They're an excellent kill team. Lieutenant? Lieutenant? 
Nurse! Nurse! I promise. Paper, mister? Hey, mister, you want to buy a paper? No, no paper, fellas. They need some fancy dude. Yeah, too fancy to let a guy earn a living. Okay. Tell you what you do. You take the rest of the day off, okay? Finn, gee, thanks, mister. That's hustling. It's still making it to this ball game. <laughs> yeah, you'd better hustle, baby. Because you're in the ball game now. <laughs>